uh, prospective Republican Party presidential candidate Donald Trump announced on July 15th via True Social that Senator J.D. Vance, a notable proponent of crypto, will join his ticket as the vice presidential candidate for the 2024 election. This decision can herald a profound shift in the U.S. government's approach towards cryptocurrencies, potentially ushering in a more favorable regulatory environment for digital assets. Senator Vance, representing Ohio, has demonstrated his commitment to the crypto sector through both personal investments and legislative actions. His 2022 financial disclosure report reveals an investment in Bitcoin in value between $100,001 and 250000 held through Coinbase. On the legislative front, Vance voted in favor of several pro-crypto bills. Accordingly, the response from the industry has been overwhelmingly positive. Industry figures have expressed optimism about the potential impact of Vance's nomination on U.S. crypto policy. And Major Eleanor Terrett, a journalist with Fox Business, highlighted Vance's record, stating the Republican ticket in the 2024 presidential election is pro-crypto, Trump's running mate. J.D. Vance has a strong pro-crypto record voted to repeal SAB 121, slam the SEC for the debt box incident. In 2023, he introduced a bill to improve bank regulation and make sure customers like crypto firms and gun manufacturers are not discriminated against. In 2022, Vance disclosed BTC holdings of up to $250,000. And by the way, uh, it is a uh, uh, discrimination to me. The disclosure confirmed uh, Vance's personal engagement. So according to his most recent financial disclosure last year, Trump and Gabriel Gerbix, founder of Pointsville and Strategy at Tether, expressed his anticipation for Vance's potential influence, remarking, J.D. Vance is 39 years old and pro-Bitcoin. That's all one needs to know. Change is coming. Jushar Jain, managing partner at Multicoin Capital, simply said, one of us, and reposted a February 2022 post by J.D. Vance, where stated, quote, this is why crypto is taking off. The regime will cut off your access to banking if you have the wrong politics. Uh, Senator Vance's approach to Bitcoin and digital assets, as reflected in his voting record in public statements, suggests he views his digital assets uh, uh, not only as financial instruments, but also as tools for enhancing personal sovereignty and reducing governmental overreach. Sam Lyman from Riot Platforms, Inc. echoed this sentiment, uh, noting the Trump fans ticket equals a profound sea change for the digital asset industry. Um, he added, DJT wants all remaining Bitcoin to be made in the USA as part of a national strategy to achieve energy dominance. Vance, meanwhile, felt that FIT21 wasn't friendly enough towards crypto, so he drafted his own proposal defending the SEC. This is the dream ticket for anyone who believes in self-sovereignty and the freedom transact. Um, uh, Travis Kling of Ikigai Asset Management pointed out the underappreciated market implications of Vance's stance. Massive shift, not even close to priced in here. Uh, and furthermore, uh, Vance's critique of current SEC Chair Gary Gensler's handling of crypto regulation, as discussed by Bloomberg ETF analyst James Seifer and lawyer Bill Hughes from Consensus, underscores a fundamental disagreement with current regulatory approaches. Now, what in SafeArt commented via X, J.D. Vance is not a fan of Gary Gensler or his approach to crypto regulation. Hughes highlighted Vance's perspective stating Ohio Senator J.D. Vance on this president next year. He is way, way, way too political in his regulation of securities. Uh, he has it backwards when wanting to ban useful without specific utility. At press time, Bitcoin traded at $64,399.